Hey, what's up guys? It's Cypher from CypherPika.com and today I am bringing you my Shigoki For Honor Tips video. I've played Shigoki for about 80 plus hours and I have a pretty decent win rate 1v1 and 2v2. I'm not prestige 6 and I've learned quite a few things along the way that I want to share with you guys and hopefully this will increase your success with Shigoki. The first tip I want to share with you guys is how you engage with your opponent. You want to engage with sprints because sprinting towards your opponent gives you a few options with Shigoki. While you're sprinting, you can immediately cast Charge of the Oni. This is your first option. Uh, and Charge of the Oni is an unblockable charge that if connects with your opponent, it will knock them down. And you can cancel the charge either by fainting or by locking onto your opponent, yep, getting into guard mode. Getting into guard mode is the preferred method because it's less input uh, required because you would have to faint then get into guard mode and attack. Instead, you can just get into guard mode immediately and go for the heavy attack. If you knock down your opponent, it's a guaranteed heavy. Just make sure you get into guard mode as soon as you see them fall down and throw out that heavy. It's free damage if they don't dodge it. Now, speaking of dodging, your second option is if they are dodging your charge frequently, you can go for a grab instead. Because if your opponent is dodging when you grab them, they, you can't counter the grab. They can't counter it. So you either can charge them or you can grab them. Now, this doesn't really apply to assassins. Orochis, Peacekeepers, and Berserkers work a little bit differently because they can punish you regardless if you charge or if you grab. They can do a sidestep attack and hit you. Now, what I like to do against Assassins instead is I will sprint towards them, get right in their face, and immediately get into guard mode. They might assume that you're going to charge or grab, and they'll dash either left or right and throw an attack. Now, this is your opportunity. If they dash left, the attack is coming from the left side. If you, they dash right, the attack is going to come from the right side, and you can very easily parry this attack and grab them and punish them. So your three options are charge, grab, or stop right in front of them and bait out the parry. I usually like to do that with assassins in particular. Let's get into tip number two. Light attacks and headbutts. I see a lot of Shigokis not utilizing headbutt. Headbutt is a follow-up attack that you can immediately do after landing any light or heavy attack with Shigoki um, while your opponent is standing up. You, you can't headbutt them while they're on the floor or CC'd. But if they are standing up and you, light, you land a light or a heavy, you can follow up with headbutt by clicking grab right after landing the light or heavy. Headbutt doesn't do any damage, but it knocks your opponent back a little bit and it drains a lot of stamina. Landing two headbutts back to back will typically completely drain your opponent's stamina and they will be depleted. And what you do now is you go back to your engage. Once they're out of stamina, you start sprinting towards them, and you can either knock them down with the charge, get a free heavy, or preferably, if you can land the grab, you can throw them and then get a fully charged heavy attack from the top, which will do about 50% of their health uh, against most of the heroes. Now let's get to tip number three. If you're near any wall, you can guarantee a Demon's Embrace. Demon's Embrace is a special grab that Shigokis have where you do a little bit of a charge up, you grab them, you break their back, you do damage to them while healing yourself based off of the amount of damage done. So it's a very powerful ability, but it's very slow and very easy to avoid. And if your opponent dodges the Demon's Embrace, you will lose a lot of health and they can punish you right afterwards because you remain stunned for a second or two. So it's a very risky ability. So I don't like to cast it unless I'm sure it's going to connect. And one way to guarantee the connection is if you are near a wall, just throw your opponent towards it. They stagger off the wall just as you're coming in with the Demon's Embrace. So as soon as you throw them, you immediately go in for the Demon's Embrace and you will be guaranteed to land it. Make sure your opponent has stamina because if you throw them while they're out of stamina, they will fall down and you cannot Demon's Embrace an opponent who's on the ground. Now, you do have an option to still land a Demon's Embrace on somebody who's out of stamina. It's a little bit riskier and it requires a little bit more practice, but if you get the timing right, while somebody's out of stamina, you can grab them, throw them on the ground, wait a second or two, cast your Demon's Embrace, and as they're getting up, you'll immediately grab them and they won't have a chance to dodge the Demon's Embrace. It's very risky, but once you get the hang of it, it's very rewarding to land in the middle of a fight, especially when you need some health back. And if you're under one bar of health, and you land a Demon's Embrace, you will one-shot any opponent and nearly completely fill up your health bar because of the amount of damage you've done with Demon's Embrace. Holy shit, let's go! Let's go! Now let's get to tip number four. Tip number four is trading with your Hyper Armor. Hyper Armor is an uninterruptible stance that the Shigoki has at all times. 
Basically, it absorbs the initial damage that you take from the first attack. It reduces the damage you take, and it makes it to where that attack doesn't interrupt you. So, what does trading with hyper armor mean? When your hyper armor is up and you're going against an offensive opponent, if they throw an attack at you, you should also throw one back. Even if you throw your attack second, it's still going to connect. As long as they don't hit you twice by the time you hit them once, your hyper armor will absorb the first attack and you'll take a little bit of damage, but you won't be interrupted by it and it won't interrupt your light or heavy that you're throwing out, which will also guarantee you a headbutt right afterwards. So. I like to utilize the hyper armor very, very aggressively, and especially against other aggressive opponents. If you trade hits, your hits do more damage, you have more health, and in the long run, you will win that fight because of hyper armor. So use that hyper armor very aggressively. Remember that your first attack that you take won't interrupt you. So if you see someone throwing an attack, you can also throw one back. Yours will definitely land as, as long as they don't hit you twice or cancel their attack. And, and pair you so it's very important to understand the mechanics of hyper armor how exactly it works and utilizing that to your advantage while your hyper armor is up play aggressive when it's down you take more damage so play a little bit more passive until it recovers then go aggressive again make sure you understand when your hyper armor is up so that you can know when to play aggressive and when to play a little bit passive and this will hopefully help you win those very close fights uh when both opponents are low health and they're trying to land a hit or two. That brings us to our final tip, tip number five. When fighting other Shigokis, prioritize removing their hyper armor oh, before good attempting good. anything like Omni's Charge or Demon's Embrace. Their hyper armor will negate your charge or Demon's Embrace, and Demon's Embrace is actually very painful because if they negate your Demon's Embrace, you take damage as if it missed because it basically absorbs the Demon's Embrace and it absorbs the charge. So when fighting another Shigoki, grab them. Even if they counter grab you, it removes their hyper armor. Then you can go in for the sprint charge engage or grabbing them and throwing them for Demon's Embrace. Make sure when fighting other Shigokis, and this tip applies to other people fighting Shigokis in general, before you go in for your attacks, before you try to combo them, make sure you remove the hyper armor that they have. You can remove it by attacking them. You can remove it by grabbing them. Even if they counter grab, it gets removed. Once it's removed, the Shigoki takes more damage and you can interrupt their attacks. Their, their attacks are very slow. So usually even if they throw a heavy first, you can Woo! land one yeah, back yeah, at no. them, especially if you're playing a quick class. Right solo, so wow. that's my that's my main tip for you guys. If, if you're a Shigoki and you're going against another Shigoki, Remove their hyper armor, then go for the combos that I taught you in this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I am going to compile more guides and tips for Shigoki, but I wanted to get this out there for you guys, uh, for the people who want some tips right now. Try to implement these in your playstyle, and hopefully this will bring you some success and get you some wins and for honor. If you like what you see, you want to see more, subscribe, youtube.com slash cypherpk. I am very committed to this game. I'm going to be uploading a lot of guides, a lot of gameplay and um, try my best to give you guys some quality content. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, drop a like and leave a comment below if there's anything in particular you want me to cover about Shigoki, anything you're struggling with, and I'll try to get back to you in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Cypher, and I'll see you guys next time. He can be really deadly with a good place. Someone in the middle. Goes your stamina. You had a stamina, you're gonna dodge. Give me a free overhead heavy, there goes half your health. I'm gonna run back a little way, he's gonna do an overhead heavy, and I'm gonna parry it. That's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna drain his stamina again, chase him, grab, go, get a light attack in, drain his stamina again, go, grab. Oh, he's gonna do that, so I'm gonna sprint at him, knock him down, kill him. Uh,